What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. Today Apple has released finally the iOS 10.3 out of its beta to the general public and therefore today we're discussing about it and we're discussing merely about chill breaking, about blobs and saving them and also about downgrades. We're going to also talk about whether it's safe to stay on iOS 10.2.1 if you want a jailbreak in the future or to update to the newly released iOS 10.3. If you're though interested on the futurist, we're going to also touch on on them but I'm going to also have a special video with the uh, full review of iOS 10.3 soon. Let's go straight into it. If you go ahead in settings you now have an iOS update. I'm running iOS 10.1.1 for reference and I'm jailbroken. And as you can see for me the iOS 10.3 only has a 793 megabits on an iPhone 6 and it says in here to quote iOS 10.3 introduces new features including the ability to locate AirPods using Find My iPhone and more ways to use Siri with payment, ride, booking and autom automaker apps. Well, you can probably see that they made a couple of changes in here, but also let me tell you something very important. iOS 10.3 includes the new APFS or Apple File System format, which is the first time in over 20 years when Apple changes the file system format from HFS and HFS Plus to something new. If you're more interested on how this is working, you can go ahead in here on Wikipedia and they have a full article on how the Apple file system is working. It was firstly introduced in macOS Sierra and now is also available in iOS 10.3. And uh, yeah, it has a couple of new features including uh, the uh, faster access. It is actually created for SSDs and uh, flash storage um, compared with the HFS which was created to work with the old platters, hard drives and so on. So it has better encryption, data integrity and so on. You can read more in here. I'm going to link this in the description if you are actually um, interested. But why is this important? Why is this even a thing? Well. It's important because if you're on iOS 10.2 or 10.2.1 or iOS 10.1.1, 9.x and so on and you want to update and you don't care about jailbreaking but want to get iOS 10.3, then you should probably go ahead in iTunes and make a backup of your data. Although Apple said nothing can really happen to your data when you're migrating to iOS 10.3 and therefore converting your device to an APFS format, um, some data loss can occur in some rare occasions and therefore would be okay for you to be protected out of those. But anyways, downloading and installing it would be pretty damn easy. You can simply update. So you can see the main uh, features are on Find My iPhone and the ability to locate the AirPods on Siri. CarPlay and other improvements that can be found in here. Of course, what Apple uh, doesn't tell you is the fact that they patched a myriad of bugs and exploits that could be used in jailbreaking. And this is where the things got interesting. Look at Desco, the creator of uh, Yalu Jailbreak, actually tweeted on his Twitter um, today, one, save your blobs. Two, if you're currently on iOS 10.2.1, stay on it if you want to jailbreak. 3. I'm done with jailbreaking. And no, unfortunately this doesn't mean he already finished the jailbreak. He means that he is no longer working with um, iOS jailbreaking. And he says in here, T-I-L, I can say I'm done with jailbreaking and people think it means a release is imminent. So yeah, he actually uh, considers it funny. Well, we should probably uh, not be very surprised about the fact that look at this go quit jailbreaking because it was actually um, uh, it was actually something that had to happen. We knew he will quit jailbreaking. He said that in the past after he he released the um, Yalu, so it doesn't really surprise me. So our only hope for a jailbreak right now remains Pangu or maybe another team, probably fried apple team that might get into it, I do not know, but I will keep you updated. But what he means by saving the blobs, you know I made a video on February 22 and also in uh, March about saving uh, the blobs for iOS 10.2.1, what are these? Well, when you're saving them, you're actually preserving the ability to try to downgrade in the future using of course Prometheus or um, another application called Future Restore, which is kind of the same thing, but they are named differently. Unfortunately, this is not available for Windows and it's never going to be. According to TeamStar, the guy behind this downgrading method, 
he is not going to release on Windows, he hates debugging on Windows, probably as much as I do, and um, he decided he only he will only la uh, leave the, uh, the downgrading method up for OS X and Linux, but that's not going to be a very big problem, anybody can install Linux on any computer, so that wouldn't be a thing. I will also have tutorials on that, but if you want to know how to save your blobs and why is that important, uh, the video that I'm showing right now on the screen can be watched from the description and you can uh, go ahead and save your blobs while you still can. There is a very short period of time when uh, Apple releases a new software, when the previous version, for example in this case iOS 10.2.1, still is signed and you can still downgrade to it from iOS 10.3 or you can still save the blobs. After it gets closed you will no longer be able to do so. So speaking about jailbreaking, if you want to jailbreak in the future, do not update to 10.3. Although it's cool, although it introduces a faster format, uh, which to be honest won't make any changes to your speed of your device and so on. 32-bit uh, devices didn't even have that in the beta, so I do not know if they're having it in the uh, final version. But anyways, even even though it sounds cool, do not update to it. Stay on iOS 10.2.1 if you want a jailbreak in the future. Unfortunately, uh, Look at the Desco is not going to provide a jailbreak for it, and so uh, do not buffer that guy on Twitter with when you're going to release um, jailbreak for whatever software, because he's not going to. Uh, and he said publicly he quit jailbreaking, so uh, keep that in mind. But our last hope would be Pangu, or maybe, as I said, Fried Apple team, who seem to be involved lately in jailbreaking. But anyways, I'm going to keep you updated on anything that happens. For the moment, do not update, save the blobs as look at the desk code said. A tutorial is available in the description for both Windows and Mac. And um, yeah, do not forget, stay safe, subscribe to stay updated, and I'm going to keep you updated on anything related to jailbreak. I'm Geosnow, peace out.